The Navy, Army and Air Force are engaged in exercises. And somewhere on the south coast, an invading army are busy making preparations for embarking. Lorries, stores and horses having already gone aboard, the troops follow and don their life belts. Arrived at their destination, the invaders disembark and man the boats, hoping to effect a surprise landing. The hostile plane, however, hovers overhead and the surprise is frustrated. Warning having been wireless from the plane, a defence column moves up with its artillery and signallers. Meanwhile, the invaders have landed and are pushing inland. The advance guard of the defenders are moving forward rapidly. The enemy troops are not without confidence, and they swing along as if victory were already theirs. Keeping in close touch with headquarters, the signalers speed up guns and reinforcements. By this time, stores have been landed and cyclist scouts have joined the invading column. The defenders open fire, but nothing seems to be able to stem the enemy's advance. The reinforcements are rushed up to the defence and the invading troops, deprived of artillery and ammunition owing to the difficulties of landing, are checked 